let's get into this problem. Okay, so here is a pyramid and we want to find the surface area of the pyramid. So it would be nice to uh, review the concept of surface area. What are we talking about here, right? So remember when you're studying this kind of um, area and volume concepts, we have area, then we have surface area, and then we have uh, volume, okay? So the area is like, let's say I have a rectangle and I want to just find out how much coverage space here. Uh, that is the area. So we have formulas for this stuff, like a rectangle. It's like the length times width. So the area, we just, again, would be the length times width. But one of the things that I stress in um, other related videos when I'm talking about area or surface area volume is the proper units of measure. Okay. So area or units of measure will be units squared. Okay. Like inches squared, feet squared. Here, this little two little hashes like that. Uh, we're talking about inches. So this is four inches. That's four inches. This is six inches. Okay. Now surface area is a, an area type of exercise. Okay. Now the surface area of this pyramid, for example, is just think about how much wrapping paper you would need. Let's say this is a present. You wanted to, you know, give this to somebody, how much wrapping paper will, you know, would you need? Well, you would need enough to cover this side you would need enough to cover this side of the pyramid. Now, if we look carefully, uh, how many sides, of, you know, what's going to go on? Let's just figure out how many sides we have, right? So I have a side here, this front side. I have a side there, okay? These look like triangles. Also, I have one back here, right? And I have one right there. So there's four sides that look like these little triangles. So I'm like, okay, I have a triangle there, a triangle there, a triangle there, and a triangle there. So I would need to find the individual area of each of these sides, okay? So that would account for the sides of the pyramid, but I also have this little like base here, right? So I'll kind of draw it like this, this little square thing that the pyramid sits, you know, sits on top. So underneath here, I have a base uh, and that is like a square, okay? So I gotta find the area of that. So if I find the area of this and the area of all these little uh, triangles that you know, uh, you know, as part of the construction of this pyramid, I will have found the surface area. So really our formula is just basically a fancy way of describing do this. Go, go ahead and, you know, find the area of all these little triangles here, one triangle there, one triangle there. And hopefully you know how to find the area of a triangle. Area equals one half base times height. So if you didn't know how to if you didn't know the formula to, uh, for the surface area of a pyramid, you could still figure this problem out, okay? Because you should know that how to find the area of a triangle. You gotta know something, right? You gotta know like some basic areas of rectangles and triangles. These things should be in your long-term memory. So uh, as long as you understand the concept of surface area and what, what it represents, and you have knowledge of these basic things, you can be like, okay, if I just find the area of this, and then I got this other side, it's gonna be the same dimensions, and then I can find the base, well, then I can, uh, you know, determine the total surface area of the pyramid. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. Of course, we got a nice, beautiful formula to summarize what I just said here. So here it is, okay, the surface area is equal to N. N is the number of sides, okay, of this pyramid, okay, so I imagine a pyramid. Actually, I have to think about this for a second. Can it have more sides than four? Well, in this case, our pyramid has four sides. Okay, so it has one side there, one side there, one side there, one side there. So that's what it is. Okay, so it's four sides. Okay, then one half base times length. So L is going to be the length of the side. So basically, it's like the height of this triangle here. Okay, so the length of the side, this is the side of the pyramid, but it's really the height of this triangle, and that is gonna be six, okay? B is the base, the length of the base, that's gonna be four, okay? But it, again, what we're really doing here is finding the area of this one side of this, this triangle here, which is one of four triangles that represent this pyramid, okay? And then we have the area of the base, which is 16. Now the base, again, is this little like a square down here, okay, that this whole thing sits on top top of. So that would be four times four. Okay, it's just a square, which is 16, 
Okay, so we're going to add that to uh, um, this formula, right? So this will be four. Okay, and then we're going to plug in one half b times l, right? So b is four times uh, six, and we're going to take one half of that, and then we'll add the area of the base, which is sixteen. All right, but this is all this is doing is effectively saying, hey, what is the area of one triangle here? Okay. And how many triangles do you have? We have four. Okay. And we're going to multiply. And we're going to find the area of one triangle, multiply by how many total triangles we have. And oh, by the way, don't forget the area of the base. All right. That's what we're doing here. Okay. So you got to know how to interpret these um, formulas. They're not that difficult. All right. So here's our... Uh, uh, formula for the surface area of a pyramid. So remember, n is the number of sides of uh, in our pyramid. That's four, one half base times length. So the base, remember that side here again was four, and then the length, okay, is six. All right, plus the area of the base, right? That's our little square down here is four times four or sixteen. Okay. All right, now let's just go ahead and just do the number crunching here. So 4 times 6 is 24. Divide that by 2. I'm going to get uh, 12. Okay, so that's going to be 4 times 12 plus 16. 4 times 12 is 48 plus 16 is 64. But 64, what inches squared? Remember, we're dealing with these things here. All right, these little, uh, like, 4. What does that mean? Well, this is 4 inches. Sometimes you'll see it like that. Um but you got to know basic units of measure. What is this? Okay. Well, that's a terrible thing. Let me just do this this way for like that. Okay. This is just common notation. This is four feet. Okay. But again, if our units are all in inches, our answer, our answer in surface area or area is going to be inches squared. Do not forget the units of measure because this is not a trivial thing and your, uh, uh, good math teachers out there that you're taking math from will dock your points. If you just gave me uh, 64 and you didn't uh, give me inches squared, and this, let's say this question was worth 10 points, I might give you an 8 out of 10. And then you would do this, or then you would be angry. Well, one of these kind of expressions would be the case. Maybe this one right here, you'd be like, ah, you know, but they would be like, why is that so unfair? I had the right answer. But listen, I'm asking for the surface area. The surface area is conceptually involves units, okay, units of measure, okay. And of course, you know, I'm not a mean math teacher. I would emphasize 50 times over, make sure you put the units of measure in. If you don't put the units of measure in, I'm going to dock you points, et cetera, et cetera. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't forget. Now, listen, it's those students who are paying attention, writing this stuff down in their what? In their notes, Okay. They're writing this stuff down. And that's why note taking is so critical. Okay. Your teacher is saying stuff. You got to be like all those little details, put that in your notes. They're giving you hints of what's going to be on the test and quiz, what's important, what's not as important. That's why note taking is evidence of you focusing and paying attention. Okay. Absolutely. Um, you know, hopefully, look, there's a lot of things I can't do. One thing I can do is teach math pretty well because I've been doing it for such a long time. And I've seen uh, these patterns and trends play out over the years, okay? you If you have a problem focusing, if you take, if your objective is like, I need to make great notes, I got to pay attention, it forces that discipline, okay? And you can just tell, you just can't have great, fantastic notes by not paying attention, okay? So all these little things, you know, I kind of reward those students and be like, yeah, you know, I knew you were paying attention and you threw in those inches squared units of measure. All right, so enough of that. Again, you know, when it comes to uh, surface area, volume, those things, you're going to, for these, you know, kind of basic figures, but pyramid being one of those, you always have some sort of formula. But even if you forgot the formula, if you understand the concept, we could be like, mm, okay, how much, how much wrapping paper? Well, I got to figure out the area of this triangle. I can do that. Here's the the, the height and the, the base area of a triangle. And I got one, two, three, four triangles. And this is a square down here. You know, this is what I'm kind of communicating to you. Don't always have to remember the formula because there is a huge amount of formulas in mathematics. 
Okay, so if this video helped you out, if you enjoyed it even in a small way, please consider smashing that like button. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.